From CBS News Bay Area, this is the Morning Edition. Up and Adam, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. It's Tuesday, August 22nd. Let's get things started. There's boulders the size of a Volkswagen that are just sitting over there. Hillary leaving its mark on Southern California. The storm leaving behind damage that will take months to clean up. For as long as it takes, we're going to be with you. The commander in chief with a promise to Maui after the devastation caused by this month's wildfires. I feel like it's still bustling with life and businesses. You know, people still come down here. It's the retail heart of San Francisco. People are staying hopeful about the future of Westfield Mall. Real fun, find the good people, you know, good people with a good heart. They could care of an animal, that's the most important thing. A San Francisco pet store owner is giving away his store for free, but it comes with a catch. And a local kid is getting ready for his big moment on the mound. Giants top prospect Kyle Harrison is just hours away from his debut in the majors. The Giants could use a little bit of that help, and it's cool to see a dream come true for a local kid. I'm Gianna Franco. I'm Nicole Zalimis. And I'm Reed Cowan. We're all for seeing dreams come true. We've got a whole bunch today. We're talking about people who are making dreams in the city to sort of get us out of that doom loop. We're devoting a whole week to that. But let's start out with weather right now because it felt like kind of a doom loop. Hopefully we're rebounding a little bit. Oh my gosh, it was a wild, wild weekend for us. Widespread throughout the state of California, the southwest, and that system still is moving off into the east as we speak. I'm going to show you that in just a second, but let's start off this morning with a live look from our Salesforce Tower Cam. You know what this does for me as a meteorologist? This gives me a good picture when it comes to visibility here at the surface level. I mean, you can see all of the Golden Gate Bridge. You can see all of the Bay Bridge just from the Salesforce Tower Cam this morning, which means visibility is great. Those clouds are slowly starting to roll their way in, but at least it's above a thousand feet, which is where Salesforce pretty much tops off. 60s in the forecast for us this morning, anywhere from Concord over into San Jose. We're off to a mild start. Let's take a look at that satellite imagery. What's left of Tropical Storm Hillary as it moves its way off into the east? We're still seeing some showers off into the Sierra Tahoe area, but it's not impacting us by any means. That water vapor imagery, I want to mention this, because remember yesterday when it felt muggy? I even took Chopper out for a walk for a little bit. I'm like, I can't do this, dude. I'm sorry. I really can't right now. It was really muggy in the city of San Francisco yesterday. It was muggy even in our inland areas, but that water vapor imagery, we slow, see it slowly moving off into the east, and that'll be the case day by day. As we take a look at our dew point, slowly but surely, we're actually starting to see it decrease. Usually around 60% or 60 degrees, excuse me, that's when we deal with that a muggy, uncomfortable feeling, but it's starting to increase or decrease as we head into the next couple days. Here's what it looks like today across the bay. Partly cloudy skies for now. We'll see a lot more sunshine into this afternoon. 60s along the coast, 70s in the Bay Area. 80s in our inland areas. We're going to continue to warm up day by day as we head into this work week. We'll eventually hit the triple digits in certain spots. I'll have more on that in a bit, but for now, over to you, G. All right, Jessica, thank you. Let's get you moving on those freeways a little tough if you're headed towards the Bay Bridge this morning. I'd grab that coffee and get going if you're commuting into San Francisco. That backup metering lights are on and all the way to the maze at this point. Adding to this busy ride, we've got a hot spot on the upper deck of the Bay Bridge. There is a crash involving at least one vehicle. They have a lane closed, the left lane, as they got a tow truck out there to get that vehicle out of lanes. In the meantime, that backup is well beyond the maze at this point and actually inching its way over into that East Shore freeway commute. So westbound 80, that is your slowest approach as you work your way towards the Bay Bridge. So BART is on time. You could use that as an alternate. You could even potentially use the San Mateo Bridge. It really just depends on where your commute takes you this morning. Golden Gate Bridge, that's clear and no fog, so you can actually see it nicely this morning. Well, let's get a live look right now at SFO. The remnants of Tropical Storm Hillary are still having a widespread impact on air travel this morning. So over the last few days, thousands of flights were delayed or canceled across the southwest because of bad weather. Well, things have improved dramatically at Bay Area airports, which is great news for travelers. We're only seeing some minor delays and cancellations. Nicole. Thank you, G. Meanwhile, the storm cleanup continues this morning for people in Southern California. Hillary dumped more than half the average annual rainfall in certain regions. Different deep layers of mud swept into neighborhoods, making it extremely difficult for crews to deliver supplies. Some cars and trucks that were swept away by the raging waters remain stuck. The remnants of Hillary have moved up the West Coast, bringing heavy rains to the Pacific Northwest. We'll be speaking with CBS's Michael Spencer with more on Hillary in just a few moments. Meanwhile, President Biden visited Maui yesterday to review the widespread damage caused by the island's deadly wildfires. He's promising to provide federal aid to the Hawaiian island until it's fully recovered. 
115 people have died, and the historic town of Lahaina is 80 percent destroyed. Many residents are sharing their frustrations, saying the response has been slow and inefficient. And we're learning new details about the man who shot and killed a 66-year-old business owner after making disparaging remarks about a pride flag outside of her store. Authorities say the suspect, 27-year-old Travis Ikaguchi, was killed in an officer-involved shooting shortly after. The San Bernardino Sheriff says Ikaguchi acted alone and often posted hate-filled content on social media. The victim, Laura Charlton, Carlton, pardon me, leaves behind a husband and nine children. And back over to the Bay. We're learning more about a deadly Legionnaire's disease outbreak at a Richmond spa, the Zen Day Spa, closed on August 5th after two people died from the disease at local hospitals. Contra Costa Health says two other former customers also contracted the disease and two additional customers reported feeling sick. They also confirmed the business did not have a permit for a hot tub or spa and they have ordered the business to be shut down until it can be professionally cleaned and said the hot tub must be thrown away. Reed. Bay Area first responders are boots on the ground in Southern California this morning in the wake of Tropical Storm Hillary. Record breaking rainfall brought significant flooding to some inland areas and cleanup is still underway. My friend Michael Spencer joins us live in Long Beach where we understand the rescues are still happening as the sun comes up behind you, Michael. Well, good morning, Reed. Yes, the cleanup does continue here in Southern California and across other parts of the southwestern United States. As you mentioned, Tropical Storm Hillary brought with it record-breaking rainfall and left behind damages which will take months to repair. Crews in Cathedral City, California had to use bulldozers to rescue nearly 50 people trapped in five feet of mud. Officials say it's more like quicksand, but there will be nothing quick about trying to clear it out. This is hundreds of thousands, if not millions of cubic feet. You'll see some of the houses. It just went right through them, right through the front door and right out the back. Tropical Storm Hillary pounded nearby Palm Springs with almost as much rain in one day as the city normally gets in a year. Who has flood insurance in a desert? Mud flows derailed a train in California's desert, and in the higher elevations, decimated mountainsides. Steve Markham says the sandbags he put near his home didn't stand a chance. There's boulders the size of a Volkswagen that are just sitting over there. So strange. Even on roads that looked okay, standing water caught drivers by surprise. Areas closer to the coast, like here in Long Beach, are dealing with storm debris. The LA River is clogged with both vegetation and trash. Booms are catching much of it so cranes can scoop it out, but officials expect trash will keep piling up as floodwaters move toward the Pacific. Hillary also battered the mountains west of Las Vegas, dumping eight inches of rain that washed out roads and stranded people in hillside communities. Officials say it's the worst flooding they've seen in 15 years. And officials are warning about the potential for more damage. They are still worried about some potential mudslides, especially in the mountain regions. The good news here, Reed, is that there have been no reports of any deaths or serious injuries in the United States. Officials saying that was because people took the proper precautions. And so hats off to them for doing that. That's right. Hats off to all the planners and first responders. This is when all of that training really comes in handy. So speaking of the training, when things like this happen, obviously LA County Schools said keep the kids out. What about today? Will they be going back to class? Yeah, that was a precautionary measure yesterday, and I think that was probably the smart move, especially when you consider all of the rain that L.A. got. And we know how tough it can be driving in L.A. when you get that type of rain. So no class yesterday. They will be back in session today. Same thing in San Diego. Yesterday was supposed to be their first day of class. They postponed it, got an extra day of summer break. Even if it was a wet one, they will be back in class today as well.